Hi everyone, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my new subscribers and happy Thrifty Thursday. Today I have some thrift store finds to share with you, including one item that I regret and wish I hadn't brought home. <laughs> and I'll share that with you. So let's jump right in. One of the first treasures that I found was a brand new, still in the package, unused set of stamps and this was from cloud nine designs and it is 16 piece clear stamps with the most beautiful messages and sentiments and i love this scripture right here and i actually did not need this but that's what i love about thrifting is i always try to keep others in mind as well so i text a friend and i said sweetie do you need this stamp set would you like it she said yes please so i'm going to go ahead and put this in the mail and send this on to a friend and that's what I love about this whole thrifting journey is sometimes you find little treasures that you know someone else would love as well. So I'm glad I didn't leave this behind. One of the other items that I found was a stack of designer paper card stocks. And these are the 12 by 12 stacks. I left them all behind. Most of them were recollections from the past year, two or three. But this one, oh my goodness, I am a big, big fan of Kay and & Company. And this was one of the first companies that I started working with when I started scrapbooking many, 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 many years ago before it was in vogue, before it was all the fashion. I have been scrapbooking probably close to 40 years. I started back in junior high, I promise. And this was one of the um, albums that I did for my daughter was in this exact same paper, the Sparkly Sweet Collection. So when I saw this, I stopped literally in my tracks. I didn't even have a cart. I had five minutes to run in, look around, run back out. And this particular day, there was so much stuff. It was like the thrifting fairies said, we're going to gift you with a great smorgasbord of goodies. So I ran and grabbed a cart and quickly put this in. And this is why I picked it up. These are really hard to find. You can only find these now on all the off markets. And a lot of times they are three times the original price. So this was a wonderful, really incredible, sweet find. As you can see, someone did love it as much as I did, and I am so grateful that they donated what they no longer wanted because this is such a find for me. I am going to be able to complete an album and make a couple of little extras and just really pull it all together. So I was really excited to find these two treasures. Moving on, I did find this little one. This was a whole 50 cents and I thought this would make a great little thrift flip. I knew I could use this in some way, shape, or fashion. It is almost like a little cinch album. You can put a little journal in here and it's already done for you. All I have to do is cover up this front this will be really easy to do just take these off and there you go and then make a little hole and put them right back again well it came off earlier so there you go you can just put that back together and then look at this the little belly band will hold it together so that was a nice little find i don't know where it's from what it originally cost but for 50 cents i wasn't losing anything <laughs> so i was happy to find that i also found some books my friends i always look for the little golden books every time i go in i'm finding i'm leaving a lot behind you have to be careful when you find these because some of them are brand new still out on the market you can walk into target you can walk into walmart barnes and noble and they will still be on the shelf for really good prices and some of the thrift stores have really risen the prices up so you're not saving that much for a used torn worn up book might be better off getting the original brand new so what i do look for are the older ones and this this one was such a wonderful find. 1966, 1967. So adorable. It has all these cute little critters. It stole my heart. I remember this book. I had lots of nostalgia where this little book is from. So what I'm going to do is keep this one. This one won't be a tear apart book. I thought about keeping it for, you know, some junk journaling, but this one's going to be a saver. So we're going to hang on to this one. I did find a couple of other ones like the hug book. This one is from 2014. So not too long ago. What I loved about this one was the illustrations. I loved the whimsical look to it. I love the bright, fun colors. And of course, all the hugs, each and every page is a different kind of hug from a different kind of animal. Look at this one coming home from the military. That one, I actually have a photo 
of my dad coming home just like this from one of his TDYs. That's Temporary Duty. And I just love this book. This book is all kinds of joy. So this one will go in the maybe pile. Not sure what I'm going to do with this one yet, whether it's going to be a keeper or whether I'm going to turn it into a journal. Then I went ahead and picked this one up for my granddaughter. She is all about the princesses, and I thought this would be cute to do something with this book at some point. I know I have a couple other Beauty and the Beast, so I'll go through them all and decide what I'm going to do with the Beauty and the Beast. But definitely going to keep. This is a maybe. And this is a, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> now my regret item. Oh my goodness. I ended up getting one of these. And my friends, let me tell you, I have bought this more times than I can count. These are the back of the closet containers where you put all your jewelry, your earrings. First of all, this needs a bath. I mean, this thing seriously needs to go in the wash and just get cleaned out. I'm not sure where it was, but it has this funky, musty smell. But what I thought is this would be cute to hang up in the craft room on the back of some closet on the back of a shelf and use this for my smaller stamps just like this and then I thought no I already have a place for all of my smaller stamps they're on their little shadow box so then I thought it'd be cute for my acrylic paints I have a bunch of those this is front and back so there are a lot of spaces. We even have the larger ones in the bottom for the bigger ones, but these are all falling out. I picked it up. They all started like, it just wasn't a good match. And then I thought I can always put in um, different arts and craft things. You know, whatever I'm using that I just want to slide in there. I it, This is not a system that's working for me. <laughs> Nothing that I put in here just, it, it didn't work for me. So this will probably go right back to the donation. I think I'm just going to end up packing it right back in, putting in a bag of stuff that we are going to uh, donate to the thrift store and just <laughs> give it right back. I don't know why I thought it would be a great idea. I've tried that before. It didn't work before, but you know, there's always hope, right? <laughs> so that is my little small thrifty haul today. Super excited to find these treasures and my friend. This is going to be on its way this afternoon, so hopefully you will enjoy this one and uh, have some happy stamping time. That's going to be it, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. As always, follow that hashtag Thrifty Thursday. See what everyone has found, and uh, I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.